Well, soon the world will experience the greatest shortage of microchips and solar panels, and it's all because of a hurricane in North Carolina. So, phones, laptops, and other gadgets prices will skyrocket in a matter of months. A small town named Spruce Pine just got hit hard by Hurricane Helene, and it might shake up the global supply chain for microchips and solar panels more than you'd think. You see, there are fewer than 3,000 people who can call this little gem, tucked away in the Appalachian Mountains, home. Spruce Pine is famous for its hiking spots, local artists, and being the only place in the U.S. that produces high-purity quartz. Sadly, Helene dropped over two feet of rain on the town, wrecking roads, homes, and shops, and knocking out power and water. But the impact is likely to spread way beyond this tiny community to the whole world. Now, you may argue, hey, why is it such a big deal? China, South Korea, and Japan, they produce semiconductors, also known as microchips, too. Their brains, in just about every gadget we use, and solar panels, are key in the fight against climate change. To make both, companies need specialized equipment, like crucibles, that can handle super high heat and stay super clean. And guess what? The best material for that is quartz, specifically pure quartz. And most of that ultra-pure quartz comes from spruce pine, at least in the U.S. Again, there are other places that can't produce it, but losing spruce pine is like playing in the middle of the game without your most valuable player. This super-pure quartz is the main building material for semiconductors, and creating most of them without quartz would be nearly impossible. Sure, quartz is not as rare as, say, gold, but the important thing is purity here, and it's exactly what quartz from spruce pine can boast. Purity is crucial. Just one misplaced atom can mess up the whole process of making silicon chips. Companies have been trying to find substitutes, but so far, nothing can meet the global demand for pure quartz. So what's happening in spruce pine isn't just a local crisis. It's an economic issue that could ripple around the globe. After getting drenched with over 24 inches of rain from Helene, the North Tow River flooded and wiped out downtown Spruce Pine. The water was up to the awnings, about 10 feet high, and the lower street is basically gone. The grocery store took a big hit, too, and the town is facing outages in power, water, and cell service. Fallen trees and washed-out roads left the town cut off from the outside world. People reportedly spent three days just trying to clear a path out of their neighborhood. Around 577,000 folks, which is about 20%, are living in 27 counties in North Carolina that were affected by Hurricane Helene, which reached Category 4 strength on September 26. Thousands of homes were wiped out, and a lot of them didn't have flood insurance. To put it in perspective, about one in four mobile homes, around 138,000 in total, are in counties that were declared a major disaster zone. Hurricane Helene isn't the only player in the worldwide microchip shortage game. This shortage is one of the main reasons why gadgets are getting pricier. Cryptocurrency is another big factor. More people are diving into cryptocurrencies that use a method called proof-of-work, which has sparked a rush to mine these coins. This, in turn, has created a high demand for special computer parts known as graphics cards, leaving fewer available for other uses. But that's not all. There were several other challenges, some weather-related and others not. In October 2020, a fire broke out at a semiconductor factory owned by Ashi Kasai, which produces crucial electronic components. Then, in March 2021, Another fire at a Renesis Electronics factory – they make car parts – took a big hit on the global supply chain. Renesis announced it would take at least 100 days to get back to producing again. Plus, in January 2022, a fire at a factory in Berlin slowed down the production of the specialized machines needed for chip manufacturing. And let's not forget the huge winter storm that hit Austin, Texas, in February 2021. That storm forced three companies, Samsung, Infineon, and NXP Semiconductors, to shut down their factories due to power outages, which really delayed their production timelines. And on top of all that, one of the biggest companies in Southeast Asia faced challenges too. A severe drought made it tough for chip manufacturers to access the ultra-clean water they need to wash their machines and chips. 
they were using an insane amount of water – over 63,000 tons a day, accounting for more than 10% of what two local lakes could provide. Now, semiconductors aren't the only shortages happening. We might like to think of ourselves as an advanced society, but sometimes the shortages we face are linked to the most basic stuff, like toilet paper. Some of these shortages are due to natural causes, while others are just good old human mismanagement. Take the US in 2021, mm. for example. There were warnings that finding holiday items might be a bit of a challenge. Things like toys, toilet paper, bottled water, new clothes, and even pet food were all in the crosshairs. A big part of the problem? The bottleneck at US ports. About 40% of shipping containers come through just two ports in Los Angeles and Long Beach. In September 2021, a record 73 ships were stuck waiting to unload. It's not unusual to see sea traffic, with ships lingering for days or even weeks before they can dock. To tackle this jam, LA and Long Beach decided to switch to 24-7 operations. So, while we might be advanced, sometimes it feels like we're just trying to keep up with the basics. When you think of coffee, Brazil probably pops into your head right away. But get this. A couple of years ago, one of the biggest coffee producers in the world faced a serious coffee shortage. The culprit? The worst drought in nearly a century, which totally wrecked that year's coffee harvest. And it doesn't stop there. Frost and the natural harvest cycle have also thrown a wrench in the works. To top it all off, high shipping costs and container shortages are making life even tougher for coffee producers. Since Brazil is the top dog in coffee production, you can bet these rising costs will eventually hit cafes everywhere. Oh, and if you're watching this video in 2025, before the unthinkable happens, do yourself a favor – stock up on chocolate right now. Prices are expected to go through the roof soon. While it might not reach Bitcoin levels, it's definitely going to have a hefty price tag. The chocolate industry is currently in a state of chaos we haven't seen in ages. For years, cocoa prices and supply were pretty stable, making chocolate a sweet treat for everyone. But now, we're facing skyrocketing prices and a serious cocoa bean shortage. By early 2024, cocoa prices soared to over $11,000 per metric ton, almost three times the average since the 80s. This mess is mainly due to aging cocoa trees, diseases, and bizarre weather in Ivory Coast and Ghana, which together produce about half of the world's cocoa. These regions have been hit hard by black pod disease and erratic rainfall, leading to a big drop in production. Now the market's a roller coaster, with prices swinging wildly due to speculative trading and a shaky supply chain. And let's not forget about Nigeria. Back in 2021, they faced their own shortage of liquefied petroleum gas, or LPG, which is mostly used for cooking. Ironically, Nigeria has the largest natural gas reserves in Africa. Between April and July, LPG prices skyrocketed by nearly 60%, making it way too pricey for a lot of folks. As a result, many are turning to dirtier options, like charcoal or firewood. Fast forward a few years, and the situation is still far from resolved. Global supply shortages, a weaker currency, and new taxes on LPG have only added to the chaos. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.